Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to make an Aladdin Silhouette Cake. Well, this is like a sequel to my Lion King Silhouette Cake. Dude, the colors in that sunset, bomb. Um, and I thought I'd do an Aladdin Silhouette because a whole new world, like, rocked my world when I was little. So let's get started. So the first thing you're going to do is going to take your elder wand and create three vanilla cakes. Don't have an elder wand? Sucks for you. Turn on your oven and bake them. I dyed mine blue, purple, and black. I don't remember why. <laughs> black, purple, and blue appear on the outside of the cake, so maybe that's why. First, I'm going to stack my blue vanilla cake. So I'm adding some flavor um, in the form of espresso. So it's like an espresso simple syrup, but I also added a little bit of a caramel extract. It tastes really bomb, so I'm, I'm fine with ruining the color. Some buttercream, our next layer of vanilla cake, and the exact same process. Drizzle some more onto our black cake and then place that on top. Now, I really don't want any of the colors to appear on the outside of the cake, so I'm gonna crumb coat the entire thing starting with the top and then working my way onto the sides. And I placed this into the fridge for about 30 minutes just to set up, and then I gave it another coat of buttercream. I'm using my cake scraper to get a smooth surface and I'm not really too worried about seeing the layers in between the buttercream because there's gonna be another coat of buttercream. So I'm starting with a sky blue, then baby blue, back to sky blue, and then an electric blue. Now these all come from a royal blue food coloring. Just added different amounts to get the different variations of color. Now I'm just using my offset spatula to coat the entire cake. And then I'm gonna place some dots of purple so that the color has a little bit more of a layered effect. I'm gonna take my cake scraper and just go at it. I'm just gonna keep scraping the sides of the cake until I have all of the colors on so to make sure that all of the colors sort of blend together. And the purple looks pretty dope just at the top. And once I've got my flat surface, I'm, I'm gonna add some black buttercream to the bottom. This is supposed to be like the silhouette of the ground. Now I'm gonna set that aside and we're gonna start to create our silhouette Aladdin pieces with some black fondant. You wanna like really, really thin. If you wanna use the same shapes I'm using there in the description box. And I'm just gonna cut out all of my shapes using an X-Acto knife. I kinda just googled Aladdin silhouettes and just placed all of my favorite parts onto one piece of paper. So we have Aladdin and Jasmine flying on the magic carpet. Jasmine's palace because I really like the architecture of that dome. The genie, the magic lamp that he came out of. Iago and my favorite monkey, Apu. And now we can place all of them on our cake. Now Aladdin was one of the first movies that really just scared me. Wild cat cave that like comes out of the ground and it holds like all of the cash money. That was really scary, you know, but it was really rewarding because he got a genie, he got a magic carpet, he got the title of Prince, or he's probably like the thief formerly known as Prince because he's no longer Prince Ali. I don't know. Um, I actually cut out more silhouettes for the top. You know, one of my favorite scenes in the movie is when he jumps off the balcony and Jasmine thinks that he committed suicide, but yo, he's just like on his magic carpet. Now I wish I had like a magic carpet. When you're you're like in high school and you want to get like drunk with your friends on the down low you know it's hard because you don't have a car and none of them have cars because you're all young losers but if you have a magic carpet all of you guys it's like flying uber um, I'm adding some white detail with a Wilton's 199 tip and a round small tip I think it's number two I just thought it would look really pretty and I was right. Now you have to serve this cake on like a Lazy Susan. The only way to see how awesome this cake is, is if it's spinning. The silhouette of them on the magic carpet, man, that's pretty. That's freaking beautiful. And I love the variations of colors in the sky. So let's say that you rub the magic lamp and a genie pops out. He's gonna grant you three wishes. What are your three wishes? First, cash money. Always. Now, second, I want to live 300 invincible years at the age of 21. I want to die eventually, but I want to be invincible and 21 for 300 years so I don't have to worry about dying or getting hurt. So I can just live life and do everything I want. I don't take risks because I'm too scared of the consequences. <laughs> so I don't go skydiving, I won't go rock climbing, I won't do anything where I I might die. No, but if you're invincible for 300 years, then you just 
jump off everything. Never take the stairs, just jump. Oh my gosh, this is hard. <laughs> Can't think of it. So you know two of my three, and I don't even know my three of my three. How would you answer those questions? Uh, let me know in the comments. I love you guys. Um, I will see you very soon. Bye.